Most people lost hope in her, thinking she was not going to make it. Having uh, been in coma life for three months, that was really discouraging. Because of the accident, the brain suffered injuries. Dudega, du 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 munawa, du jisa. This is the house where a young girl who has been involved in an accident since 2017 when she was um, asked to go and pick up her results at school stage. I am the bomb. I go to school. They Ali ubi bota mi lewa edu jis. Mina kano legi. Dota bi muna maki legi. Topo torek garabam jehla. Topo torek la sohla. Nanga boga dia dosku. Dengar dem dia. Nanga boga dah hati. Kamu melon. Hmm? Dia nanga boga dah hati. Eh, aku kula. Je suis allé à l'école, je suis allé à l'école. Nous nous faisons à l'école, en utilisant des engins et des stations. C'est ce qui a été fait pour elle. Et tout a été fait, les nurses sont là pour nous aider avec les docteurs qui sont là. Les pharmacies sont là pour nous aider. Les pharmacies sont là pour nous aider. Les pharmacies sont là pour nous aider. Pourquoi vas-tu aller à l'école avec son frère to pick up her grade on results. Farmer was hit by a tourist taxi on the 24th of July 2017 in the early hours of Monday morning, which leaves her in coma for three months. Meaning um, the accident was so serious that um, she was unconscious. She was in coma for a very long time. Um, and then one of the bones on the lower limb was broken, which is the femur. Uh, so she was in the ICU for a very long time, uh, unconscious. If I remember, she's, she was in the ICU for close to five to six months before she was eventually um, moved to the children's surgical ward. It's exactly two years now since the accident. Farmer has been home since he was discharged from the intensive care unit. She hasn't stand on her feet by herself, neither talk like she used to, nor hold any object firmly by herself. This is indeed sorrowful. I am the bad. I go to school. Ding, ding, ding. Lola, talk you put. Bubu ngabu. Nak nak sahaja di sini sekolah, dah ngam miss gay, dah ngam buat dem sekolah. Nah, jelas kan mah English. Tapi modern dem, so so buaya wahne. I want to eat something. How do you say that? Eat. 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 Hmm. So she is brilliant. This girl is brilliant. Nah, so ni yang ngam buka oh mami muda lah hari. Snow deh. Mami. So how much do we demand? Five dollars mm -hmm. to go and buy Ebe. Hmm. So my friend here likes Ebe. She do. So danga danga buga danga buga dem for ye. Ask some more me. Um, Sahari. Sis, cool. You got any in your set? The new. The new guy. 
Ska här i Bisco ju numtu där. Dang ambe na hari Cisco. Numtu där. Dang fat. Ali ana Yasin, Yasin da fle nyu set. Yasin da fle nyu. Da fle nyu set. Da fle jina chips. Ba da fle nyu set. Hmm, Yasin sa kharit da tid. Sati chena. Hmm. Wo hon nga mane English mo sa best subject at school, tid. English language. Cool. So so great. Hmm, wo nyata nga am position. Hmm. So she's brilliant. She has first position. Hmm. So na mga sa tiga si aksa harit yip si school. Danga buka dito school. Danga dem di. Danga buka dito hatid. Kung ano meron. Hmm. This seems funny to her, but that is how we see. I want to go back to school. Have that interaction that he was having with her, with her peers, because we can see how she is currently seated in a wheelchair, not actually doing what she has been doing. So it has been a really, um, it has been a challenge on her. I mean, a trauma that she's been into, especially the family. She want to go back to school and she want to actually um, mingle with the friends as it used to be. Um, according to uh, the report and the doctor's diagnosis. Uh, she was admitted on account of severe head injury. That was as a result of an accident that she was involved in. That was in 2017. And actually, I even met her in the ward because I was in one ward, then I was moved down to the ward. Farmer was in that, uh, she was in a coma state. She was unconscious for like almost three months when she was admitted there. And because of the accident, uh, she had a fracture of which uh, the limbs, that was the leg, was involved, and also the arm. Uh, then uh, we did it at uh, what we call, uh, they tried to align the bones of the fracture when she was there. So during that period, she was like, because she was in coma, and her mom was also so supportive during that time, she comes to us. So I was so close to farmer during that time. In fact, I tell them she's my child in the world because she was one of the youngest uh, patients that we had then. That was like, she was then like seven years old or eight years old during that time. So it was really a big, in fact, most people lost hope in her, thinking she was not going to make it. Having uh, been in coma life for three months, that was really discouraging. school for jelly resource and grade one. In a cafe, if I can manage to keep, I mean, you see, Monday, see good. Small will is be real. Problem for the four of them started. Small year, yep, full is be real. Can and watch a case of my new seat. I got a few, I feel my coffee. I'm not so much. 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 I'm not so so my neck no 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 neck a few work time few big good no my jagger hey hey basically more early in the last week we had a five jelly resource man of course jelly resource I believe tell them how they begin the key we just get to be them road mom farmer them the fat TV now I'm going to pay for guy the farm of your land pass my leg jar lay you need to be willing just to tell me more amaga Yalah, dengan nama gam gay gay nara mune mune pernah najar ni si talib. 
This is exactly the place where a pharmacy was hit by a vehicle in 2017. During her admission, uh, which is not something surprising, she developed multiple infections during the course of the admission in the ICU, which were treated accordingly. Um, however, she started responding, coming out of the coma gradually. Uh, she improved uh, conscious-wise uh, and was sent to the pediatric surgical ward. Initially, when uh, she was moved to the children's surgical ward, she had difficulty talking um, and even ambulating. But um, now she has improved in a sense that she, you might hear when she talks, but it's still not clear. Uh, and she's able to walk with support. So her problems currently, uh, while she was in the ICU, uh, because of the accident, the brain suffered um, injuries, which did not need surgery. There was no need for an intervention. It was just medical management and admission in the ICU, which was done. She has developed what we call brain atrophy, meaning some parts of the brain have actually lost their function. She was going to school. This happened around 24th of July, around 8 a.m. in the morning, going to school to collect our results. So that's the time this thing happened. So, but unfortunately, well, with the help of God, me, I did leave everything yeah. with them. So we do everything since day one with them. Ice cream, ice cream. 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 Ice Ice cream. 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 Ice Ibrahim, the driver, said he wished he could do all it takes to get farmer back on her feet. But since his car has a breakdown, things has been really hard on him and his family. So there is not much assistance he could do. He still wants to see farmer go back to school. Yeah, I feel, I feel definitely... Uh very sorrowful and uh, definitely it's very painful because me also uh, I'm a family man so a kid like this you know I mean you know from that up to three years now she cannot do anything you know I mean yeah, well it's very painful for me definitely because uh, it's not easy definitely because I definitely feel it I feel so much so that well 
that's why I cannot leave anything with them down. Yeah, because I know it's somebody, somebody's life, somebody's kids, so me also I have kids, so, well, since day one, so that's why, well, well, for me it's very painful for me, they know. Yes, so I was with them, doing everything together, well, he explained the same scenario that the mom explained earlier when we come today. So today he came to bring some food stuff as usual and um, see farmer and see the condition in which she is in. She couldn't talk, but at some point in time she started speaking, though it was not frequent like she used to. You will see she struggled to speak, and then up to day two she struggles to speak, though words are coming in a bit. So usually we tell the mom to see how best she can download like uh, children's cartoons and then just have her play, so that at least that will help her to regain back her memories and then it also help in the recovery process. Unne besona amu fuma dem. Dotta bu mag bu nek gam ya fi. Tara na be disko. Because ah dotta mare na mo muna affaire ya. Tanka bi defa dam si sa. Si accident be leg defa ruko. Leg fi lu ya fi ten taka fi su si l'hopital. Je <coughs> 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 I remember times with that number, her mom would run to me and say, do you think farmer would make it? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm positive she's going to make it. I give her those words of encouragement and we thank God um, at some point, she started regaining her consciousness. Then she started opening her eyes. She will open after some time. She started moving her body, her arms and the like, even though she had fracture in the limbs. So after that, after some time, she was later on moved to the uh, children's side, pediatrics, we call it. When she was moved out the pediatric side, after some time, then the doctor started deciding on allowing her to go home and wherein she can continue with her, let's say, outpatient treatment on appointment basis. Uh, it was also difficult, which uh, also because of the injuries, the fracture that she sustained, she had to be on a wheelchair. Up to date, she's still on a wheelchair. And then I make it, I take it upon myself to have a home visit for her. I go to her home to see how she's doing. We freely tried to uh, knock a lot of doors to see how best we can help her um, get treatment uh, because 
at a point, my mom would call me and said, this is what is happening. She has a boil in her leg and it's really affecting her. I took her to the hospital. So I keep encouraging the mom. It was really, it's really tough for her because having the child like for almost how many years cannot do anything on her own. We, they have to support her. She's on a wheelchair. And then, so it, it was really challenging. I can remember at a point, in fact, everybody thought Farmer was not going to make it, but we thank God that she really made it. Because if you look at the picture of Farmer then and Farmer now, it's quite different. Uh, though she still needs help, because she's still on a wheelchair, she still needs her leg to come back to life. I remember when I got there, she said she still wants to go back to school. And then you will see that she has that passion in her. She still speaks English. If you speak English to her, a farmer would understand, despite the fact that she was in a coma for that long. And I was so amazed to, when I got there, a farmer, a farmer remembered me after that time, after that long time of not seeing each other. She called my name. In fact, I had to say tears when I heard her calling my name. So it's really challenging. I'm urging anyone out there, be it in passing a group of people that can help her, to come back to life, to be that happy child that she used to be, and then see how best they can also help the family. During the admission, she had a fracture, meaning one of the bones was broken, the bones on the lower limbs, the femur, the left one. Um, so that bone has healed, um, but um, not in a very uh, good position. Um, and the other thing is, Unfortunately, about a couple of months ago, she developed an infection on that fractured side, which was treated accordingly with antibiotics and drainage of the infection or the abscess. So, going forward, what does she need now? Um, pharma is a case where you know that she needs to be seen by different specialists. Um, one, she would need to have continuous rehabilitation. Um, the other thing is, uh, as part of her problem, she is not able to open her mouth properly. Um, from the interrogation we got, she's only able to tolerate even only a spoon to go in, so she can't open it fully. So she would need to be in a center uh, that would investigate that better.